Luke, hello, WJ, welcome in. Beetleball works? Kind of, yeah. Today we're working on a spider. I just realized my microphone is way wrong. Hold on. Okay. How's everybody doing today? It's Tuesday. It's a special day. Hmm. I just realized now that this chat bot is not working. <laughs> well. Should be this. Let's try again. Test. Nope. Hmm. Oh, no, it worked. Okay. Weird. I wonder why it didn't work before. There. Welcome in, everybody. We're doing, uh, doing some art. We're drawing some spiders today. We're drawing some spider folk. Um. Yeah. Let me see if I can find my, my notes. We are going to be drawing some warlock. We're going to draw a spider warlock for the one and below. She uses, like, shadow magic. So that sounds kind of cool. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do today. They create a pool of shadow. They can manipulate it in various ways, uh, including turning it into a cloak of shadows around them. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Let's see if we can get that. Ooh. There we go. Toast! <laughs> Elliot, welcome in. No more constant April Fool bullshit for the kids. Ooh, I can bet. I've not, uh... Not to deal with that. <laughs> I generally try to not do April Fool stuff. I remember, like, when I was really little, we did that, and it like it always backfired horribly. So, uh, yeah, I'm not a big prankster anymore. Oh, oh, lordy. Okay, we're good. So we got to do a whole bunch of spider sketches. That's what we need to start with here. Boop. Wrong brush. Um, I have a couple sketches from other artists on the team because this is for a this is for a module that's being made. Um, if I can remember the names of it, that would be great. Uh, there's a link down below if people want to check it out. It's for Look Again Games, and this is for uh, the Astral Vapor. Astral Vapors, Vapor. That doesn't seem right. Hmm. Bellum. There we go. Secrets of Vapor and Shadow. There we go. That's what it's called. Which is fun. It's cool. There's a lot of cool concept art that they have on their server and stuff. And I'm going to look at that. And I'm going to try to draw a spider. Try to draw a spider warlock. So should be pretty chill today. Got a lot going on. I guess I could get in the Discord, but I'm tired. Where on earth? Huh. Huh. <laughs> I keep losing the uh, the server. There it is. Okay, let's look at this. Found it. Okay. I think we're going to... So we're going to make this a little spindly boy. For sure. Bug, 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 bug. 
Rage, that's some uh, that's some uh, some excessive bug. <laughs> Welcome in. If I were a Black Widow Warlock, I would choose a Tabby Cat as a patron. Cats are immune to spider poison. Interesting. The thing that I see a lot with these is either we make the body really, really small, or we make the body huge. And I think with a Black Widow, we probably want a tiny body. Should we do Black Widow, or should we pick a different spider? Tarantulas are pretty great. I like the way tarantulas look. Plus, if I do a... If I do a Black Widow, it's going to be, like, really spindly, right? Me! We gotta get the eight arms in there somehow. For sure. Even though most of the other bugs have been, like, very humanized. <sighs> we have a lot of options here. It's going to be it's gonna be a little just, like, scribbly and concepty for a bitch. For a bitch. <laughs> for a bit. <laughs> la la la. Scribbly for a bit. Uh, spider, 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 spiders. Black widows? Let's start with black widows. They got them big old butts. Tiny, tiny bodies, big old butts. Okay, how do we turn this this into into whole body? I hate it. There we go. We're gonna have to make basically make a uh, spider body. Just we just are like from from nothing. We're gonna have to whole cloth. Because, like, Black Widows technically just look like this. Meep, meep. And then they got they got legs. So that's not going to work. So we're going to have to come up with our own... Uh, our own shape. What's a good warlock shape? Especially if it's a shadow warlock. Maybe we want to do more like a hunched. More of a hunched over look. I think we're going to want to do, like, lots of kind of dangly cloth as well so maybe maybe we do want to go taller than not tall if that makes sense could do a big thick wolf spider mm, what's a wolf spider look like maybe that'd be cooler you thought you could hide the secret steams from me no seriously though welcome in dragon turtle how you doing i'm doing pretty good i'm doing pretty good We're doing a lot of little sketchy sketches today um I'll look up a wolf spider. Wolf spider could be cool. Wolf theater. Oh boy. That's terrifying. It does make a little bit better of like a humanoid head though. Still not very like furry though. Maybe furry is okay to not be, since we're going to do, like, lots of cloth. Oh, and then what if we do, like, one of these puppies, like a really long... Uh, oh, I just learned what these are called. Shoot. Really tall priest collar. They got some cool face coloring. The audio keeps cutting in and out. Is that a stream or on my end? Ooh, I don't know. Do I need to move my microphone? How's that sound? Is the uh, is the music cutting out or is it just my voice? Because I might just be talking too quiet. It's very possible. Seems good over here. 
All audio. Okay, Dragon, it's probably on your end then. Yeah. Watch me get demonetized instantly because, like, you're drawing balls. It's, like, it's a spider butt, I promise. You're drawing butts. It's like, dang it. They got me there. Okay, so what if we give them a little curved? We make them this way. And then we let the. Should the spider butt go up? Or down? Okay, let's look at the rest of the hands here. So we have some other some other sketches. It looks like the bugs do have hands, so we're gonna give them hands. We'll probably remove one of their arms. Someone might get upset if I only have six limbs, so we might need to have eight. Which is fine, because I like drawing multi-limbed things. Oh, I lost my picture of the spider. Wi-Fi went to shit. Oh, yeah, that, that'll do it. That will do it. Ooh, wolf spiders are creepy. I generally like spiders. Like, if I see them, I will leave them alone. Because I want them to eat all the bugs in my house. But, uh, that's a creepy looking one. More limbs equal more better? Sure. That's not too bad. I think the arms are gonna be are gonna be the weird part. Should I make their arms way too articulated? Ooh. Ooh. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Um, bicep, elbow, wrist, fingers. We're essentially going to double articulate the elbow, I think. So we're going to do something like this. Makes me want to play Mouse Guard again. Do they have insects in Mouse Guard? That would be pretty cool. I evict all spiders for their safety. Bug spray and dogs really hunt something. <laughs> the cats will eat them from time to time. That's pretty funny. When I moved into this house, I, I gave everybody a... Uh, a uh, eviction notice. Saying, you guys got like two days to get the hell out. And then I no longer guarantee your safety. What's everybody doing this week? Post April Fools and uh, Easter. Hope people had a good Easter weekend. Played a lot of Hell Divers. This could be longer, I think. Oh, 
want to play with the shadow idea too. If they make like a pool of shadows. Maybe we can have that like swirling around their arm or something. Makes me think of the uh like the guy from Naruto. That like controls people by making them step on their shadows. That's one hundred percent like a kid's game. Just like trying to step on each other's shadows. Spiders can't read though. No, it was vocal. It was vocal. Yeah. Working on shit for both work and for my own projects. Nice. I'm gonna try to finish up um I'm gonna try to finish up my belt. I'm making a leather belt, like bandolier thing. For uh see if I can see if I can actually do it. I'm pretty happy with it, but I just got the buckle in today, so I gotta make the the buckle strap and stuff. Yep, yeah, I don't like that. We could just make this like a dude with a spider for a head. That could be interesting. Well, this is guard is where I learned beekeepers are called apiaries. Yeah, yeah. I just watched the uh, beekeeper movie. Jason Statham. That movie made no sense. It was so weird. Medusa, her hair is silk. That could be funny. I thought you were going to say each of her hair strands is spiders. She's nothing but spiders. Ooh, I like the idea that like there's no feet. Why do I like that so much? I think it looks cool, but apparently flying squirrels are like chupacabras, monsters of pure terror. Hmm, interesting. Flying rats. What would be cool to put on the back of a spider's head? Like a headdress crown thing. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Maybe we make that a little bigger. Like really let the spider web thing go. That could be cool. Does that look too much like a vampire? I don't want it to be a vampire. But I like like the silk cape idea. That's kind of cool. Drawing feet sucks. It looks neat. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Welcome in, by the way. As opposed to her sister, Meditor, whose hair is all spider legs and it's long hair. Ooh. Flying squirrels are much more flying rats than bats are. Yeah, that's true. What just happened? What just happened? Come on, Photoshop. Be cool. Be cool. Okay, so if we do two arms, should we do two arms and four legs, or two legs and six arms? Six arms could be cool. I don't know if I've ever done six arms before.
That looks pretty dope. Is dope still a thing? Do people say dope? For each six armed anatomy gets we wild. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of like six arms. Maybe like a tool material headdress. You know, like it seems like it's made out of spider silk. That's good. I mean, it could just be spider silk though. I thought pigeons were flying rats. Pigeons are, yeah, essentially, <laughs> dopest part of us. We can't go back from it. Yeah. TG's and got a character there. No problem. Enjoy your enjoy your game, Dragon Turtle. All right, let's try it. Let's try a new one. I kind of, I'm kind of liking this uh, this general shape. I think we just need to elaborate on it a little bit. I have a few friends that are going to be very mad if they jump into this stream and see a Spider-Man. Also gulls. Yeah, gulls are definitely flying rats. 100%. I want to make sure this doesn't turn into another ant. I want this to look like a spider, so. That will have to be, we're gonna have to make sure we focus on that a little bit. Did people watch the Goodberry YouTube short I made this morning? What are people's thoughts? Do people like Goodberry in their games? Do they hate Goodberry in their games? Never have used Goodberry. It's good. This is more of a man spider. Yeah. How are you doing, Corvus? Yeah. All right. I need to look up these. Uh, it's in the book. I'm gonna look in the book. I got the uh, RPG Saints sketchbook from uh, Wayne Reynolds, and I love it. It's just it's full of nothing but good stuff. I love the way he draws like robes and stuff. So good. Lots of layers. Pre-chewed good berry feeding was an excellent call. <laughs> yeah. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna feed somebody a potion, like that's one thing because it's a liquid. But if you're trying to feed them a good berry while they're passed out, and it's like you might have to pre chew it. I don't know how I feel about that.
I like where this is going, but I think he needs it to be taller. Yep. Only have two eyes, ants, but they have simple light detections and kind of thing weird like warts too. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Good berry mixed with chalk equals Tums. <laughs> Maybe, I guess so. Oh, those are cool corpses. Is that the, uh, that's the, uh, shoot. Can't remember what they're called now. A naughty. A naughty, yeah. I was going to say, it always sounds like a Nancy, but. I mean, on I mean, purpose, but... It's where they got the name, yeah. so... I can't remember what the actual name is, though, so... Yeah, and the... And Grandmother Spider. Yep. <laughs> I feel like if I have six arms, two of them have to be touching. Like, it's just... It's gotta happen. Like, we gotta have... Like hands clasped together or something. Yeah, like, <laughs> what do you do with six arms? Now, two of them always have to touch. Oh, I accidentally closed chat. One second. <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man, six arms. Blah. Hands in a lotus pose. Is that is that like the steeple thing? I don't know what the lotus pose is. Do you need spider reference? I've got I've got quite a bit. I've got a bunch in front of me here. I mean, the only lotus pose I know of is like when you're sitting cross-legged and like both your feet are like the bottom of your or tops of your feet are touching your knees yeah that's kind of what I was thinking too like that's the only way I could describe like what you're doing <laughs> steepled hands yeah okay I think I want really spindly legs. Here's our center line. So the feet need to be in between these two. So this leg's going to be pretty far forward, actually. And then should we do the butt like this? Maybe we don't need a butt. Maybe we'll do a couple different sketches with without butt. That kind of makes it a bit weird. Having the butt? Yeah. Yeah. Like, old ohm thumb touching middle finger hand resting on the knee thing. I thought you meant outstretched like someone meditating, right? Which could be cool. I think the thing I need to, like I said, I need to worry about is the, uh, they basically create a, a shadow 
on the ground. Like they make a pool of shadow on the ground and then they can like summon it up to like make knives and stuff. So I feel like I should work on that. I like this. I like this base idea. Maybe we'll just move this over. We'll play with some more shapes. I made a face hugger is what I made. Okay, okay, okay. So what if the body shape is not like the big spider butt, but just like, that's just the way the legs look. So we can like infer the body shape. Oh, actually drawing said body. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting some Doctor Strange vibes here, and I'm kind of okay with that. How would one draw a shadow physically? Just like maybe solid black, like no shading, just silhouette? It could be interesting. I like the monastic vibe of it. Yeah, it's kind of where I'm trying to get to. Drag, welcome in. Meditates with spider funk. That's not too bad. Do I want to do from the front, though, or do I want to go from the side? That's not too bad. May I continue the conversation from the last stream? I have no idea what the conversation from the last stream was. Um, so if you have a question, you're welcome to ask a question. We are very forgetful here. We're owed. And the last, last, uh, last stream that you joined might not have been the last stream, so. Yeah. Maybe the two finger thing isn't. Maybe I should do more than two fingers.
All these all these limbs are gonna get in my way. I can feel it. <laughs> Three or four fingers at least needs a thumb. Well, have a thumb, yeah. I'm thinking thumbs and two fingers. The legs from the abdomen look look will probably work better from the front, but I'd go slightly more from above for the pool of the shadow thing. Oh yeah, I'll kind of tip it forward so we can see the pool. That might work, yeah. Twin, welcome in. Yeah, I think we're gonna go We'll probably go something like this. If you guys want to see some of the other artwork that I've done, as well as some of the other artwork from the project, there's a link down below to their uh, Twitter page. This is for Look Look Again Games, and they're doing a Kickstarter here sometime, I believe. Maybe towards September? That might not be right. Don't quote me on that. That might work. Yeah, I think it's gonna be shorter. I think the thumb will not reach the end. Uh, new to the stream, what's the vibe? Uh, it's pretty chill. We usually talk about D&D &D and food and random art stuff, so. Really, it's whatever you're feeling. Right now, I'm drawing a spider warlock. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Last stream, you said music is an art, which is true, but you don't call a musician an artist unless they truly make a piece the same for writers. Uh, I mean, I would. I guess what you're, you're saying... Like, if you don't write music... Like, if you're just a performer, that's different. But I'd still consider you an artist. Like, yeah. I had this conversation with somebody at one point in time, and my the way I kind of worked it out in my head is that, really, an artist is anyone that wants to elevate something they're doing to an art form. So, like... You can really, you can really, like, putting time and effort into things is kind of what makes it art. You expressing yourself through something. The medium doesn't really matter. Are covers, like, tracing? Is that what you're implying? Interesting comparison? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking at. Like, like if all you do is play, um, play covers, or, um, or just, like, fiddle around near your guitar, like, that's fine. You might not be a professional musician, but like if you're learning to play the guitar, you shouldn't have to write your own music. So it's the same thing with drawing. Like drawing other people's work and like doing studies is really important. Like that's how you learn. But like just because you're not a professional artist doesn't mean you're not an artist. What's the wisdom of the day? I have no idea. We'll love to see if it, something pops out of my head. Uh, I can paint vases of flowers, and it's considering art despite being a visual-only representation. Yeah, I mean, like, it's the same thing with photography, right? Like, you can just take pictures of stuff, but, um, like, being a photographer or trying to do photography as an art, like, they're, they're different intentions. So... All about the intentionality. Yeah, that's kind of the whole thing with art.
is someone that paints houses. Are they a painter? Are they an artist? <laughs> or do they just paint houses? I think they can be both. Depends on how you paint the house. Yep. I think this is the winner so far. Winner, winner, chicken dinner? Yep. Yep, I like that one. Okay, let's try that. Let's see what we can do with it. Let's see what we can do with it. Bleep the thing starts getting into the semantic iterations of the English language limitations. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like that's that's kind of the thing with, with art in general. Like, it's all subjective. So if anybody says, like, well, you're not a real artist, just tell them to fuck off and, like, go on, move on with your day. But, like, yep. What the hell, cat? No. But beyond that, like, you can be an artist in any medium. I think, I think with the person might... <laughs> my friend was like like oh so a serial killer is an artist i'm like to them they are <laughs> like <laughs> they're probably like yeah there's probably been a few who thought of themselves as, as such yeah. so not all art is good i'll put it <laughs> it's just like yeah all right i have a skip cat trying to get some food let me go feed him real quick hang tight hang tight everybody come on skip cat let's go Okay, I'm back. The difference between a game and a sport? Yeah, it is. A lot of Bauhaus commie art movements were about craftsmen also being artists. In my opinion, making like a really good cabinet or something is art too. I agree. Yeah. Sometimes there's too much weight or expectation put into the word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think that's fair. 
I get the vibe instantly when someone is like, oh, you're creative. <laughs> I hate that kind of label. That's basically my life right now, yeah. Zero, welcome in. Favorite character I've ever played? Mm. I mean, Broker's pretty good. I like playing clerics, so I made a lot of different clerics. Polar Bear Monk was pretty good, too. Yep. The best constructive criticism you were ever given? Spend more time. Just spend more time on stuff. Iterate. Do it again. Delete it and do it again. Failure is always an option, I think, is probably still my favorite. It's an Adam Savage special, but it's a good one. Failure is always an option. Sorry, I picked up some almonds while I was feeding the cats. And I'm just drawing on the same layer. Great. Oh, I've got me a paint storm, so I'm doing digital art. Is that like a tablet? Or a... Uh... I don't know what a paint storm is. Aside from do more art, make your sketch lines lighter it was one of the most important pieces of advice I ever got. Yeah. I think that I think that falls into mind too, because like really, just jumping too quickly into final lines and final like the final pen pressure, uh, is is a something you kind of have to teach yourself to do. <laughs> learning really learning how to use a sketch can be super. Super important. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let me see what the chat's doing. It's a program. It was on a humble bundle. Oh, nice, cool. See if we do that. I think I have all these ideas I want to do for like floaty clothes, but with six arms, I think I'm not going to draw any of it. <laughs> Let's 
It's two o'clock here. Yeah. I'm on the East Coast. Or West Coast. Yeah, West Coast. That was weird. Wrong side. Wrong side of the U.S. <laughs> kind of wanted these legs to be a little spindlier. I feel like I'm drawing a dancer, though, and that's not the right warlock vibe. How can I go more warlocky and less priestly? More cultist, less. <laughs> Maybe do a wider stance. And then do like. Yeah, there we go. More like a drapery thing around here. Spider faces are weird because they don't read emotion well. I could give them eyebrows, I guess. Eyebrows solve everything. Yeah. <laughs> The web next piece on the previous one was way cultier, was it? This one or the this one? One or two? <laughs> two, three. One, two, or three. One and two are the same. <laughs> Corbett wants to see if you can tell the difference. <laughs> They're the same. They're the same. <laughs> three. This one? Okay. So pointier. Pointier is what we need. What else would just like be made no let be made known? Warlocks do wear light armor. <laughs> just saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the cultist over the, like... I'm Crocker. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. If it's leather, that would make sense. What's up, Skip Cat? You moo mooing at me? You want the door open? Gotta get the sun shining. Gotta let Skip Cat cook. <laughs> oh my, that's nice! I've been looking for something for like three days. I just walked into the kitchen and I moved a box and that was it. I have no idea how long it's just been sitting there. Ogre face, spider, Sam Eagle vibes. I'll look it up. Oh yeah, that's creepy. 
just go like real big derp eyes. That's actually kind of cool. Business. What's up, Skip Cat? Oh my goodness, you're so ugly. This is why we don't do, do uh, live streams after 3 o'clock because Skip Cat wakes up. Want some tuna? We'll give Skip Cat some tuna. I shouldn't listen to Mystery Skulls on stream. It's too good. Okay. Six arms. Shadow Warlock. Should we do tattoos? Or jewelry. I think we can maybe do both. Maybe not so much. Maybe we don't need so much meat. Hmm. Make the arms a little thinner. And that way we can get a little more of the cloth kind of floating around. I didn't catch them because they are also known as net casting spiders. But they go blind during the day and regenerate their. Interesting. They can regenerate their sight that fast? Or are they just like day blind? That's a weird fact that a lot of people don't know about. Like, whenever they go deep sea doing deep sea photography like the lights they use to <laughs> take pictures of the fish essentially blind all the fish <laughs> like, it's like look at that yeah, cool can... thing and that fish is just like ah! sorry yeah you... hence why uh, if you're doing like in a submersible the lights are generally red for mm -hmm. deep sea Exploration, explorations, because red light doesn't mess with animals' eyes. <laughs> it is a low, low energy light wave.
Oh my god, what was that noise? What'd you do? Apparently they added the new AT-AT walkers to the <laughs> Helldivers game, but for the uh, the enemies. Like people don't, Skip Cat, you're not supposed to be up here. You just got tuna fish. What are you doing? What are you doing? What, what are you talking about? Of course I can be up here. I'm just going to stand on stuff. Is this what you wanted? Just wanted to be in the way? Just wanted to sit on the monitor? Neat. I don't know what you're doing, cat. You just want to see out the window? <laughs> so I can put you outside. You know? I don't know. He's just taking over. Taking over the whole whole everything. Uh, Drag, I would prefer that the chat stays on topic, but if you have a fun thing, that's fine, because we don't really have a talk bro right now. I think uh, asking me if you can ask stuff is uh, probably more destructive than just asking, like, saying stuff. Like, go for it. I don't see why you... Yeah. Okay, yes, I like this pose. I like where this is going. Should I do the feet, or should I just do the spindly bits? I think the spindly bits are pretty good. There we go. My YouTube playlist is now nothing but uh, Nathan Apollo and Tom Candy. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> what kind of elbows would a spider have here? Like four elbows? Just four <laughs> elbows? Just... Do like I like the little crab segments. Maybe we'll do crab segments. Crabs are terrifying and I hate them. Not as much as horses. Somewhere. Somewhere in there. There's like Things that terrify me. It's like ocean, crabs, and horses. And there's a spectrum there that I have not yet figured out. Hopefully I never have to, like, rationalize that, <laughs> that list. <laughs> I'm on a cruise what and it's on crabs? fire. My only option are jumping into the ocean, fighting off a bunch of crabs, or riding a flaming horse. Flaming horse option sounds pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, then when you die, you can go to heaven and be like, hey, how'd you die? And be like, oh, you know, flaming horse. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double RT, you want elbow suit? Wait, Just... looked good before? What, when, when did I do it before? Shoot, did I erase it? Like this one up here, number three. 
Because I still got beefy arm. We could try to go back to it. Basically make the biceps shorter. First sketch. This one? Because I don't think I did an articulated arm there. This one? It's number three? I kind of like the skinny arms, but I like the elbow, too. <laughs> we'll do something like that. Cripples and wheels are related. Elephants and manatees are related, but horseshoe crabs aren't related to crabs. But barnacles are. Things that make rhinos rhinos are the teeth, not the horn. I thought a horn, like, I thought rhinos were more related to horses. Or is that they just are. a. Okay. They are a odd toed ungulate. Yeah, okay. The ungulate was the part I was well, thinking of. Wait, no. I don't think there actually are ungulates. They're not ungulates? ungulates. Uh, That's crap. cows. You're right. Horses are... Yeah. Uh, horses Single are... Single chambered. Uh, crap. I think they are related to horses, though. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's Equine? the odd-toed family. Gotcha. Because there's even-toed ungulates, which are cows, deer, sheep, goats. The various grazing types of animals. No, ungulate is the right term. They are ungulates? Okay. Yep. Just not... Multi-chambered ungulates? Like cows. Yeah. The bovines? Where we get the rhinos, the horses... And the tapirs. To unicorns. Okay. I think that's the good arm placement. And now, what I gotta do... Oh, that's all the elbows in one spot. Hmm. Mm hmm. These arms should be the most forward. And then these ones should be, like, pretty far back. And the ones up top should be, like, pretty close. So maybe maybe this should be moved up a little bit. I think the right side looks good. Though the bottom right arm, its left arm, is probably a little too big. That's good. I like that. Because then these are lined up. 
Basically, the arms are like paralleling each other. <laughs> Whales are ungulates? Interesting. Mm, that doesn't no. sound right. <laughs> no, no, no. They're cetaceans. Whales are even-toed ungulates because they've evolved from even-toed ungulates. All right. Yeah, so they're more related to cows, technically. And dolphins are also in that. Oh, science. You weird. Pan ungulata. And hippos are also even toed. What about manatees? Where's manatees fit? Mm. They will fit where the elephants fit. Which apparently elephants are not ungulates. Elephants aren't ungulates? Interesting. I would have suspected they were. What is this song? I don't understand what's happening here. It's just a phone ringing. Office dad? Alright, cool. Yeah, they're uh, pachyderms. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, duh, of course they're pachyderms. Yeah. <laughs> we I mean we've talked about like the the um, science nomenclature before. It was just being stupid. <laughs> like it only matters to scientists, and it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. I terrify myself. Yep. Adding some uh, unneeded shape depth to uh, noodle sketches is always a good way to scare everybody. Okay, so this still has the big, big beef right arm, right sided arm here. Did you guys ever get bored while you're drawing and just decide to like try a completely new hand um, placement? What if I held the pencil upside down? Let's try that. My, like, I don't know if I have ADHD, but, like, I have some of the tendencies, and they drive me crazy. I really want to finish the video, or I could do literally every other thing that I don't really need to do. And I don't know why I'm, like, I have that paralysis of, like, I want to do it. I want to work on the video, but it's, like, it's just there's so many other things I could do, too. <laughs> Struggling. There's a word for it, but I can't remember what it's called.
Is that a sloth, Corvus? What did you post? That is a... Basically an early ancestor of a bunch of ungulates. Got it. Or odd-toed ungulates. So, oh. sloth horse. Your favorite. <laughs> I like sloths. I think Drew is the one that hates sloths. Oh, wait. Or did you say that was a horse? Did I miss under here? Horse. Sloth horse. Sloth horse. <laughs> All right. It looks like an avatar. It does. Universe animal. And apparently he had an early ancestor of... Giraffes looked like this. That's it's awesome. Like, a, like that's dope a AF. Moose <laughs> giraffe. Yeah, that's a moose giraffe. <laughs> it's like, what else can you call it? In fact, that's the new version of it. The older version, before they had a complete skeleton, it was just straight up a moose. Awesome. <laughs> try sponges it's always fun to like fiddle around with different paintbrushes and stuff in new programs but I always go back to the round brush I don't know why I just like it I like it and it's good make these really really drapery that'd be kind of cool put some big bangles on here maybe that could be cool Is this supposed to be a weapon? You stand the round brush also? <laughs> yeah. It's really good. Are you talking about the Calith... I don't know what that is, Drag. Calicathery? Is that the one that looks like a giraffe? No, it's the... Uh, the horse sloth. Sloth horse? Okay, gotcha. Close hands and dainty arm wave makes me think it looks very elegant as a spider should. Mm.
I will not be streaming on Friday. I just now remembered. I thought I'd tell people that. I'll be around tomorrow. We're going to do the live stream tomorrow. But Friday is a... Uh, is... Have things happening. <laughs> My family coming into town, and I probably won't be around all day. So, because that means uh, you won't be around for Saturday. Ooh, I, probably not. Okay, probably not. Let me look. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, I messed up my days. So Saturday, I have stuff to do on Friday. Saturday is when family is coming to town. Um, mm. They'll be here at like eleven in the morning. So I'm gonna time. guess. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. If we want to do a game or something, we can maybe earlier in the week, maybe on Thursday or something. Mm. But. Ooh, I kind of like the idea of an asymmetrical. Cloak here. Ooh, what if we do that? Eh, well, no. Nah. Asymmetry is always superior than symmetry, in my opinion. I do like it. Maybe we'll give him like a, maybe not a cloak, but just like the uh, little extra drapery over here. I'm going to flip this and see if this is, looks awful and if I've <laughs> totally screwed myself. No, that's all right. Hey, all right. We're doing okay. I know this stuff because I want to go into paleontology. Nice. Paleontology can be a lot of fun. I've known a lot of biologists in my day. I don't know if I've ever met an actual paleontologist. I've met one. Yeah. When I feel I like I must have. a museum. <laughs> That's fair. I've met experts in pirates, uh, piratology. I've met uh, neuroscientists. I've met... Uh, a whole bunch of like First Nation, um, what were they called? They had doctorates in something, but I can't remember what it was. It might just be First, First Nation, Nation studies. Languages? No, no, no. It was it was more of like cultural um, studies. Mm. But I can't remember what it's called. They were all from Canada. I was gonna say that sounds very Canadian because in Canada they refer. To the indigenous people as the First Nations. Yeah. That's how they refer to themselves, so. When I talk about them, I try to do that. Um, I know some ichthyologists. Yeah. What? People that study fish. Oh. Oh, yeah, I guess since it, you're using Greek, it would be mm -hmm. Ichthys. Can't think I know, I don't think I know any paleontologists. Yeah, uh, in Tennessee, there is a, was a paleontological dig where they found a bunch of, uh, Ice Age animals, Pleistocene, I guess is the term in a sinkhole. Okay. <laughs> like animals would fall in, predators would jump in, couldn't get out, and so it kind of just was a big pile. If there was a spider there, it probably liked it. <laughs> Jump Rope and I were talking about, like, owning a spider. And I was like, I like feel bad. Tarantula? Yeah, like a tarantula or something. I'm like, I feel bad because these spiders, like, that these people are showing off, like, their terrariums are tiny. And it's like, yeah, spiders don't like to, like, travel. Like, once they build a good nest, they don't mm. really want to leave. So as long as food comes up to the nest, they're very happy. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. 
Uh, the one thing I do remember them it was kind of like almost their big claim to fame, like almost the museum's mascot, was they found an early ancestor of red pandas there. Nice. So there's the a lot Mar of red Chartreuse pandas. pandas. <laughs> I had to do it. The green panda? <laughs> yeah. Not to be confused with the cyan panda. I was just making sure you knew what chartreuse was. That's fine. <laughs> I was trying to think of, like, mauve, but I'm like, I don't want to say mauve. Mauve panda sounds stupid. So I went with a more obscure color. <laughs> Interesting fact about the, the name for chartreuse. It, it actually comes from an alcoholic drink. That is that color. <laughs> Weird. like an herbal I guess look here is the more correct term sweetened drink made by monks I feel like that color had to have been around before the drink but maybe not yeah it it was made I'm fairly certain that the name of the color comes from the name of the drink but why was that named that I think it was named after the monks. The Chartreusian monks? I believe so. Interesting. We are the monastic order of charcuterie. Would you like a tiny carrot? Yeah, Jack, I did see that. I think uh, I've seen a few YouTube videos talking about that. Okay, I want to talk about Hills Coming With Me. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to put this song together. And it sounds like it's just a shit show. Is there an original song, or is this the original? By Poor Man's Poison. I think that's the original. song about the guy who got run out of town and he came back and got revenge yeah like he got run out of town by a priest and then he comes back and kills the priest it's like yeah. I, don't, I don't know who the good guy is here and then <laughs> I can't tell if this is a massacre or like justice you know partially because I think I think one of the lines is uh, I paid the devil double to keep your soul so it's like Yep. <laughs> so you're saying that Are the you... priest is, is awful because he does bad things and all the money he's gotten, but this guy has made twice as much as you and he's doing it to spitefully damn you. <laughs> Catch you next yep. time. All right, yep, no problem. See you later. So it's, I don't know if this is what they're going with, but for me, it reminds me of the uh, Thanks, Luke. Pale Rider movie. Pale Rider. Which yeah, is a Clint Eastwood movie where yeah. he like shows up and just like ruins this town, basically because they like, uh, like killed his brother, See, and they think that it's the brother come back from the dead, but it's okay. actually. See, that's what I'm trying to piece together. Like, I can't, I can't figure out the instigating situation of why this priest kicked this guy out of town. Some good old country justice. It's always always freaky, and I never like it, but 
It makes a good story. Yep. Yeah, it definitely is uh, Southern Gothic. So. Yeah. I like that term. I like Southern Gothic as a term. It seems like it really seems like the priest put a beat down on him, <laughs> which is kind of a funny, funny, uh, fun way to look at it, anyways. But then it makes me feel like this guy is kind of a, I don't know, anti heroes is kind of the jam, anyways, of the the uh, Western cowboy aesthetic. There was a animation way back in the day that I watched in college. God, what was that? This guy comes to town and just sits in the sits in the the middle of town, and the town goes crazy trying to figure out why he's there because they think he's like death incarnate or something. Is the Undertaker? Maybe it's the Undertaker. I think I know that. It was like a meme before memes were a thing. Blackwater Gospel. There we go. Good old fashioned, old school YouTube gore. Godzilla vs. Bambi? No, I've not seen that. My nephew are taking me to see Godzilla and Kong. Late birthday present. Nice. I was at the store this morning, and uh, the cashier was like talking to the guy behind me about that movie, and he's like, not enough monster fight. <laughs> I was like, that's probably fair. Yeah. they got to stop making uh, kaiju movies where the kaijus aren't the main focus of the movie. Just want the just want that good monster fight, you know. That's why we're all here. It's already 2, 3, 30. I guess I started a little late. What do you think of Pacific Rim? The first one was great. The second one was garbage. Yeah. The second one was not a kaiju movie. It was a robot movie, and it was a small robot movie. And that made me very sad. And the, uh, the animated cartoon they did... On Netflix, like started off really strong and then just got really weird, <laughs> really really weird. So they just lose sight. They lose sight of what makes them cool. It's the monsters, yo. I really liked the. Uh, a lot of the recent Godzilla movies have been pretty good. Um, and like going back and watching them, I think I'm less critical of them now than I was when they came out. But uh, 
the Godzilla TV show like just came out. Was that what was that on? Can't remember if that was on Apple or Prime or something. That was pretty good. It wasn't super great, but mostly just people. But uh, still, I still like the the Godzilla universe. Okay, I probably need to get this checked off before I continue working on it too much. So I will probably go try to exercise a little more and then get the video worked on a little bit today. And we'll be back uh, tomorrow for the viewer suggestion. I think that will be a good, good thing. If you have not suggested your ideas yet for your character draw, please do that on the viewer suggested post for this week. Um, yeah, go watch the YouTube short I posted this morning about good berries and write something stupid in the comments because all comments are good and helpful. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, that's all we got. Thanks for hanging out today, everybody. But I think, I think that's where I'm going to stop. I think that's where I'm going to call it. Maybe I'll get some more shading on these legs to really make them look like spidery, fuzzy legs. Spider Afro. No. I'll think about it. Monarch. Yeah, Monarch. Monarch was good. Do we know the theme for the Super Chats this month? Nope, not yet. I don't know if I'm going to do that anymore. It's kind of, like, I like it, but also, I don't know if it's it's exactly what I want. So I might figure something else out for that. We'll figure it out. I want to figure out something to do with the Super Chats, but uh, it feels a little disruptive to the art. Especially if I'm doing something else. And I'm going to be doing a lot of commissions this month. So I don't know if I want to do that specifically. So, yeah. This one was sponsored by the uh, Balaam guys. Doing this as a commission for them. So um, definitely go check them out. There's a link in the comments below. Uh, I'm just doing work for them. And they're going to try to publish it. Which would be awesome. So I'd love to see their stuff get out there. Because then my stuff gets out there. So, yeah. Otherwise, uh, that's all I got. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Keep your dice on the table. And we'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.